The question is, you must have considered uh, the past performance in that particular sector. We well, want to challenge the Minister of Agriculture to publish the profiles of the companies that they picked. Because for them to pick on, on those companies, they must have looked at the profiles, the business profiles. I want to ch challenge uh, uh, Anti-Corruption Commission not to keep quiet, because we, as the opposition, we will not keep quiet on this fertilizer procurement. Mm. We are not keeping quiet over the $100 million that was aborted, the contract at the Ministry of Health. Mm. We are not going to keep quiet over the, um, the, the single sourcing uh, contract that was given to uh, one of uh, the friends of the UPND to supply fertilizers for $50 million. Mm. $15 million over and above the normal price. Uh, Innocent, I want to tell you that uh, not very long from now, uh, President Haka and Hichilema will not be able to comment on anything to do with corruption. Yeah, because I think his pace is, uh, is reducing every day. Uh, it reduced when they awarded that contract last year in September for $50 million. It reduced further when uh, they awarded a contract of $100 million mm. uh, to, to some you know, friendly companies and the Minister of Health. It has even reduced further uh, in the award of uh, uh, supply of fertilizer in, in the 2022-2023. Very soon, the president will find it very difficult to comment. Because what could be the nutshell, your nutshell, in terms of uh, the corruption fight in the last one year under the UPND administration? Also bearing in mind uh, that a number of people, as we speak today, have been arrested coming from, uh, you know, uh, your political party and, of course, some uh, former civil servants who have been arrested uh, you know, over these a number of issues. It could be proceeds suspected to be, uh, 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 property suspected to be proceeds of crime. So many stories. Again, you've been told that if anything, the PF, you and the PF, you are not supposed to speak because you are the people that brought this country uh, to its knees as we speak today. What local standard do you have to begin to criticize the UPND over the cor corruption fight? Something that uh, Zambians fought you against? Well, first of all, um, the corruption, mm. the grand corruption currently under the UPND is methodical and meticulous. There's a lot of corruption. Nothing Zambians have ever seen before. And by the way, it's only been done by very few, a very few clique, top leaders in the UPND. I would not want to accuse uh, all the members of the UPND in cabinet or in parliament, but there's a small clique of top leadership within the UPND that are involved in uh, massive corruption. So the fight against corruption, on the other hand, is a smoke screen. Uh, like I said, uh, their corruption, their grand corruption, is, is methodical and meticulous. So every evening, they sit around uh, to see uh, who they are going to arrest. Okay? And they run with the propaganda so that the people's eyes and ears are towards that propaganda and those arrests. It creates space for them now to plan their methodical and meticulous corruption. Whilst you are running around, you know, picking up this one and picking up that one, there is two, three hundred million dollars procurement of fertilizer that is going on somewhere under some house in some house, calculating what names are we going to use uh, to supply fertilizers. When you're running around to SEC with cameras to interview those that have, have been called to answer charges, there's a hundred million dollars under Ministry of Health uh, contracts that are being signed in a house somewhere. When you are running around, you know, uh, for, for these uh, uh, corrupt, uh, corruption allegations at SEC, there are 50 million dollar uh, contracts that are being signed. Now listen to li just listen to those figures. Mm. This is not small, and this is happening every day. So Zambians, open your eyes. The fight against corruption by the EPND is just a smoke screen. Mm. Don't focus where they, they are pointing your eyes to. Look the other side. You are going to discover what the real deal is. When they tell you we are methodical and meticulous, yes, I agree, but corruption is corruption. And we're going to call corruption for what it is. Mm. So there is no fight against corruption. There's actually a lot of corruption under the UPND. And I'm, mm. I'm very specific. The current procurement of fertilizers, grand corruption, over $200 million. Mm. And I'm challenging them 
I'm challenging the APND now. Okay? Can you publish the profiles of those who are supplying this fertilizer? You will know. So in short, uh, IP, there's only one supplier of that fertilizer. Then they've picked proxies. They've put names there, you know, mm -hmm. just to try and make it uh, look like uh, this was open. And that fertilizer was already procured. The supplier was already tipped. Mm -hmm. The fertilizer must have been maybe even already here or somewhere on the way. That's the only way it makes sense that they'll be able to supply fertilizer for this season. Mm 